Well, all right, let's talk about the Christmas Day game between the Chiefs and the Raiders. This was the height of the, oh my God, the Chiefs stink. They're they're human. They're not good anymore. And honestly, it was kind of crazy looking back on it that the Chiefs lost. Not, not that they lost the game because like that happens, right? It's a divisional matchup. The Raiders have been, you know, they had a solid year. Like, they weren't great, but they had a solid year this season. So, it's like, it's not crazy that you lose to a division rival. What is crazy is how bad they looked in this game. They ended the day giving up as many points on offense as they scored on offense. Well, uh, let's get into why those first, you know, it was these back-to-back two plays that really, I think, you know, sunk them in a lot of ways. Where you see where uh, Mahomes is on the field. You might be wondering, wait, that feels a little bit weird. Why is Mahomes over there? He is not lined up behind the center. He is lined up behind the guard as sort of a halfback uh, position thing. And the Chiefs have some exotic trick play they have dialed up. The halfback takes the snap, uh, tries to hand it, you know, Pacheco tries to hand it off to uh, Mahomes. It does not work and ends up getting recovered for a touchdown on that play. Again, it's one of those things where on paper this makes sense and, you know, how hard is it to hand off a football, right? But there's a difference between doing it in practice and doing it in a game. And when you're asking guys to do things they're not used to doing, sometimes mistakes happen. So, okay, you know, probably a bad play call there. Uh, Did not work out. You know, at the same time, players do have to execute. That was one mistake. So then nearly immediately after, okay, the Kansas City Chiefs find themselves trailing uh, at that point. So what do you do? Well, you know, uh, Mahomes is going to be in motion towards the offenses, uh, towards the top of the screen. Going to be sort of a rollout there. You have Justin Watson trying to find a gap in coverage. Watch how when Mahomes takes the snap, he runs uh, a play action, looks over, and right here there is, again, uh, is there a window to make this throw? Not in this situation, I wouldn't say. If the corner wasn't looking in that direction, then I would maybe say you could try to do this. But Mahomes is going to kind of try for like a back shoulder type throw. But Jack Jones is looking at him. I mean, this is a bad decision by Mahomes. I don't know if he's just frustrated about the last play and trying to do too much on this one or what. But watch him, you know, uh, Jones does a good job of adjusting. And maybe he just thought Jones's hips were too far, you know, out of position. But he's a fast corner. You know, Mahomes shouldn't uh, think that. Uh, really good play by Jones. But still, a mistake by Mahomes. And it was kind of those two plays that changed things, right? Because the final score was 20-14. to 14. If they won this game 14-6, to 6, okay, people would have still looked at it and said, well, uh, you know, Chiefs offense definitely still having its issues. But at least their defense is playing well. But since their offense had so many issues that even with the defense only giving up six, they still lost, that's what kind of created the, uh, you know, the questions and people wondering, well, what's going on with the Chiefs? But again, two bad plays is two bad plays. Yes, very impactful. But again, if they had lost this game, maybe like 24 to, you know, 21 I think then people are sitting here and looking at it and saying, okay, well, you know, you, you, you know, you didn't maybe didn't score enough points, but like, okay, the two bad plays, it happens. The fact that they only were able to get 14 the rest of the way was still worth talking about. So let's start, talk about how that happened. Starting off with a play like this, what's going to happen is the Raiders, I mean, they didn't really do anything too fancy, to be honest. They were kind of just playing zone coverage constantly. That's maybe something you have to do with Mahomes is instead of focus on what he's, uh, you know, bad at, focus on what you're good at because he's not really bad at anything. Maybe that's a mindset. But, you know, this is the uh, zone coverage. You see the route that can work against zone. Patrick Mahomes takes a snap. He looks in that direction, but doesn't love what he sees. And so now is going to try and scramble. This was something we saw a lot in this game is Mahomes very quick to, you know, once he realizes Reed wasn't open, try and scramble and try and figure something else out, which is something that obviously he's done a great job at over the course of his career. However, on this one, when Mahomes starts running around, you're going to see pressure eventually comes and takes a couple guys, but he does get knocked out of bounds on that play. That was happening a lot in this game. There's a lot of looking up, not loving what he sees, and then saying, you know what, okay, let me try and scramble, and then not being able to scramble for too much. But now let's go over to a play like this, because okay, well then that kind of gives you a clear picture of, oh, I see, guys weren't getting open down the field, and so therefore Mahomes, there's nothing nothing he could do, right? What can you do if, as a quarterback if no one's getting open? Well, that wasn't entirely what was happening. This concept, a good concept against this coverage, you see the route that I've highlighted, it's a route that can get open against this coverage. And watch how when it begins, you know, I wish I could show the all 22 footage uh, that would make this a little bit better. Uh, I was looking at it and it was, I, I couldn't get it uh, basically in any resolution that looked good on camera. So I decided to just use the broadcast footage instead. So sorry about that. But uh, he's open. Long story short, the receiver is open here. 
it's not wide open. There's a, you know, there's defenders in the area. This is not the easiest of throws. I think Mahomes, he played a little timid in this game. He did. I think he made some mistakes early on and was maybe being a bit too cautious. Because watch how when Mahomes looks down the field, again, he decides not to make that throw, tries to scramble instead. You see a Raiders defender is paying attention, trying to get over and make a play, and also we're mentioning the situation. Third down and eight, so gaining five yards here is a bad play. Mahomes tries to get the uh, you know first down, cannot do it, and the Raiders are able to you know, defend against it, and Mahomes, uh, the, you know, Chiefs end up punting the football away, which is what they were able to get a lot of, able to get a lot of punts in this situation. So, you know, that's definitely a, a key part of what was going wrong. And so for a lot of people who kind of look at this and say, how did the Chiefs, who were Super Bowl champions, you know, go on to win the Super Bowl, how did they lose this game? And I think that it's a combination of things going back and watching the tape. One is what we're talking about. You know, guys not getting open and Mahomes playing a little bit timid, along with Mahomes making a few mistakes. But I want to talk about, if you look at their pro football focus grades from this game, so what's interesting to me in particular, and I know, it's, uh, you know, depending on how big your screen is, might be a little hard to read some of these, uh, some of the names, but what's interesting is you look at the very bottom of the list, Patrick Mahomes, this might be his lowest graded game of his career, a uh, 31.4 grade. The reality is, if Patrick Mahomes is having a grade that low, you're not winning many games, and I think that and you know, even like some other keep like uh, Travis Kelsey was at 23 uh, on this list. Even Rasheed Rice, who was the ninth best on the list, still just a 61.8 grade. Nothing really great here. And to me, that kind of tells a lot of the story is, you know, the Chiefs did have issues. And I think even in the Super Bowl run, they had some issues offensively, even though their defense was fantastic. But it was just kind of one of those situations where, as a quarterback, you're going to have off days. And when you're a defensive-minded team, your off days are going to look especially bad. I think Mahomes just had an off day on you know Christmas Day. And because of that, you know, it made the issues worse, where the issues that they had weren't good enough to win them the football game or get enough going outside of just Mahomes. To me, I simply just see it as Mahomes had a rough day and, you know, then played better the next week against the Bengals when they won and clinched the playoffs with, you know, under second to last game of the season. He was rested you know, against the Chargers and then he came back and played four really good games in the playoffs. So it's like, yeah, when your superstar quarterback, you know, puts up a 30 grade, then like you're going to look worse. That's kind of, to me, I know that sometimes that feels a bit simplistic, but like that is kind of, I think, the explanation here. So yeah, no crazy X's and O's. Wow, that's what happened. Now I understand. Just uh, Mahomes had a bad day, and uh, the team had some flaws. And you know, when when he had a bad day, they weren't able to make up for it. But you know what? They still uh, actually ended up coming pretty close, only losing by six in this game anyway. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Figured I should go back and talk about this game because it is getting a lot of attention based on you know how uh, it went and how the, the Chiefs playoff run went. But yeah, those are my thoughts on all of this. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.